Oh, thank you, my dear. Oh. <laughs> you can't keep that on, I'm afraid. Oh, this, I am. Um, I know, I just, I can't seem to think how I can go through with this. Jessica, all my best students go through this. I think I'm one of your best students? Of course. <sighs> You don't think I engage in naked sessions, do you, with every single boy or girl who happens to hand me a sheaf of paper? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Of course not. It's perfectly normal to feel a bit self-conscious at first. OK. Just take a few deep breaths. <sighs> oh, it's uh, getting warm in here. Do, do you want me to put on a fan or something? Started, I guess. Mm. Now, I've been trying to find a way of linking all of the supporting mm. characters to the main character, and I can't seem to think of anything. They don't seem to have anything in common. I don't know. I just don't want it to sound like a bunch of unrelated bits that don't seem to have any real connection to sex. Sex is the connection. Everything we do, everything we think, every single action we perform as human beings is entirely connected to sex. Mm. It's the world's best kept secret. Mm. Yes, century upon century of constrained passion and libido. It's our job as writers to truly penetrate this and to assist our audience for their own well-being to, um, to penetrate it also. No, oh, no, just get some... Ah! Shit. Mm. You know what? I think we should stop now. Hmm. In my mind's eye, I can see it still. It's a picture, hanging on the wall of my living room. It's me, and for some reason, I'm winking. I don't know why. Maybe I'm trying to be friendly. Maybe I'm floating, or <laughs> maybe I'm trying to somehow let everyone in on the joke that is my life. You see, that picture is a cartoon drawing. And my life's a lot like that too. I may be battered, bruised and emotionally disturbed, but somehow I'm still back the following day, chasing another crazy scheme. My life. It's a joke that isn't funny anymore. And most importantly, it's a story that I can't finish. I was thinking of starting it like that instead. <laughs> what do you think? Well, yeah. Um, I, 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 I don't know really. Is it better than the other beginning? Yeah. Well, it, it, it's been a couple of days since I read it, so, uh, yeah. Uh, well, you still haven't given me any of your thoughts. Mm. Mm. It's not good news, I'm afraid. What do you mean? It's not substantial enough for a whole novel. You, th you think so? In what way? Th th there's not much point in discussing it. We're getting... Why? Because I don't think it's worth you continuing with. Why? <laughs> nothing happens. Jesus, I mean, I mean nothing. I... I, I got to the end of the first act and... First act? It's a character piece. Okay. Well, the characters aren't engaging enough. Sorry. And you know, I, I think you have to understand the rules before you can break them. Sorry. I mean, I, I can help if you want. What would you suggest I do? How about a murder? Oh, God. 
stop ringing. Hello? Nobody here. Hello? Nobody here. Hello? Mom, it's me. <sighs> no, I haven't. What time did you say it was? Oh, God. Um, no, no, I'm just getting another idea off to a new publisher. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I just got in from work. Tonight? Oh, I just thought I'd have a quiet night in tonight, Mum. Yes, by myself. Yes, completely alone. Well, Mum, some single girls like a quiet night in. Well, especially those who live alone. <laughs> well, tonight I'm working on a brand new idea. Brand new. Totally, totally new. Mm-hmm. What noise? Oh, I'm emptying the dishwasher. Yeah, look, I've got to go. I'm running late and I... <sighs> All right, yes, someone's coming over, okay? Sean, from work. Look, I don't need a reason to... Because he's cute, he's fun to be with, and he's the only guy at the bank who isn't a complete asshole. And he's coming over in less than two hours, so I've got to go. <sighs> yeah, Mum, I know you hate men, but that's something for you to deal with. No, I think you'll find there's quite a few female writers, yeah, who are successful who aren't lesbian. Look, I've got roast chicken on and I've got to check it, all right? I know it's cliche, Mum, but trout on a cram is a little bit out of my skill range. <sighs> well, at least I didn't make something like a crappy pizza. All right, I'm hanging up now, okay? Okay, <laughs> bye, love you too, bye. Yep, still a chicken. on a stick! Hello? Oh, Mum, I'm trying to get in the shower. What? A murder. No, I didn't know about it. Where was it? Sealed off the area. Hmm. Mum, Sean doesn't come that way anyway. I don't think, anyway. Stop talking for once. I've got to go, all right? Okay, bye. Right, uh, do you have any uh, floss? Sorry. Rob! What the hell are you doing here? Well, I just finished training in your place. It's just across the road from the club, so um, I thought I'd... How, how did you get in? Uh, remember that time you left your keys in my car? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, well, I had some cut. Oh. What? Just in case. Hello, Rob Telford speaking. 
Oh, hey, David, how are you? Yeah. No, I know I had a good time last night as well. Oh, yeah, no, I had to shoot for that yesterday and went really well for all day, though. Mm. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> it's a bit of that around, eh? Yeah, no, I know how to handle myself around guys like that. <laughs> no. No, no, I had a good time. Yes. Sorry, mate, just had to take that call. Yeah, well, I've got someone coming around, so you're going to have to go now. Bye. When? Seven o'clock, but I haven't even started getting ready yet. Oh, come on, let's just have a drink together. Yeah. But I haven't got the time, Rob. Oh, you never have time anymore. You're always busy. I've got loads to tell you. Yeah, well, you. writing's more than a full-time job. It's a vacation. Come on. Look, all right. One red wine, that's it. Hurry up. Well, I thought you said you were going out tonight, Jess. That's why, um, you know, you got the... <laughs> Thought you'd take the opportunity to rummage through my drawers? No. Oh. Nah, it's not funny, Rob. Alright? I don't expect to come home and find people in my bathroom. It's freakish. N not even me? No, not even you. So what happened to you, big night out? Change of plan. Quiet night in for me. Well, you and who else, eh? Sean from work. Oh. So how are things going at the uh, insurance place? Bank. Yeah, it's fine. Um, uh, what is it you do there again? Customer service. Bones. Yeah. So when I ring up and ask for something, I get to speak to you? I need this complaint. Oh, so people are rude to you and stuff? What? At your workplace thing. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say they're rude exactly, but there was that woman this morning. And that man this afternoon. Actually, I hate everyone that rings. So how much do you get for that? You want to know how much I get paid? No, it's none of my business, of course. Just, uh... I just thought it'd be interesting, you know, because uh, my, my sister is a temp. Same, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, big one. Well, um, I don't know, it's not like it's my life already. It's $14 an hour. Really? Yeah, but like I said, it's only to pay the bills. You know what you need to do? Go out of business for yourself. Well, Rob, my writing, you know. Got it all worked out. Oop. What about doing CVs for people or something? You could get an office yourself somewhere to, to work out of for less than $200 a week and uh, an office to work in. Look, so I've got no steady income and rent on this place and then an office to pay for too. You just need to get motivated, mate. I mean, if you knew that room was costing you $200 a week, you'd be motivated to get out there and find some work, wouldn't you? I think I'm pretty happy with my present arrangement. Well, suit yourself. You could have a crack at moving into my area. You could be doing commercials and stuff. I don't really think I had the look for that sort of thing. No, but you could be an extra or something. Really? Mmm. Like I had a shoot yesterday. Did I tell you? Oh yes, your big news. Mm. It was awesome, Jess. It's a lead part in a French TV commercial. It's going to be shown in France, you know? Yeah, I remember you were telling me yesterday. Yeah. It was awesome. I walk into one of those really beautiful suites at the Stepford Plaza. Yeah. Full crew there and everything. Honestly, mate, looked amazing. And they did my makeup and stuff. There was this guy running around going, we're ready for the talent on the set. It's the talent ready yet. <laughs> I wondered who they're talking about, but it was me. Of course. Yeah. So I go out to what they've got set up, and honestly, mate, just look. Look, do you want to see what I had to do? You watch this. So there's a fresh plunger of coffee here, right, with the thing up, like, unplunged, and an empty cup. And so I had to, I had to sit down and, um, Push down the plunger, then pour. Yeah. Pick up the cup, sniff, then close my eyes for a taste. Yeah. Wow, they did all that in one take? Yeah, yeah, they're so good with their camera and the lights and stuff. It looks so good. Amazing. Yeah, it was quite hard though. Which bit exactly? Well, I was here for three hours. Still, you know, $8,000. Mm. Everyone I know went for it, you know, proper actors and stuff. But they chose me. Guess they wanted a lead player, you know, recognisable face and all that. Could you pass me the wine bottle, please? Mm. Sure, mate. Just, sorry, Jess, I just, just wanted to tell you because, um, you know, you've been there for me, mate. You know how hard it's been for me? Mm. Honest. Because um, I think of you as like a sister. Thanks. No, I do, because good friends should be like family. Yeah, I think you yeah. hit the nail right on the head there. I mean, and you've been there for me, you know, after everything that's happened. You no, know, it's like 
with Paula leaving and everything. Oh yeah, how long's that been now? Seven years since April. Yeah. But um, it's good to have a bit of luck, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping to have a bit of luck myself tonight, so... Oh, oh, oh. I didn't tell you the best part. What's that? Well, my agent rang me this morning. She says, are you sitting down? I said, no, I'm lying in bed, but go on. <laughs> what time was this? Oh, one o'clock or something. <laughs> Anyway, she says, you're not going to believe this, but you know that coffee ad you shot? Well, you're going to be showing it in about six different countries. So your fee is going to be increased. Well, go on, have a guess how much. Surprise me. $58,000. Oh. Jess, mate, you okay? I'll be fine. So, I thought that with the money, or maybe this is a crazy idea, I don't know, um, we could use it to get your book thing published. Jess. 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 What are you doing? I'm watching TV. I've got your coming over at 7 o'clock. Oh, oh no, no, sit down. Come on, the ads are on. I've got a date coming! Oh, I love this one. Look, this one's the babies and the tire. Give me good! Oh, oh. It's very difficult, <laughs> as I'm a shadow of my former self, feeling helpless. Give it to me. Helpless. We've got some great oh, advice for you. I love this show! <clears throat> You may be advised to wear a residual limb shrinking sock. Individual instructions will be given by your occupational therapist. Thanks, panel, for that great advice. But on a more personal note, if I was you, I would just jump to hey, it. Hey, you know her, right? in your stride. Yep. Climb every mountain. And don't let the fact that you've got no legs stop you from leading a perfectly normal life. Up next, We've got a letter from a girl whose father died of AIDS. See you soon on Here to Help. We're here to help. Yeah! Right, that's it. Come on. That's good advice. Well, it's the first thing she could get since leaving Well, Fam. Well, how does she get that job? Oh, somewhere she always does. Oh, right. Through her agent. Oh, right. What do you think I was going to say? Well, you know, I just heard a few rumours about her. Oh, God, you think Jeez! Oh! Oh! oh. Happen. Oh, this afternoon. Look, okay, just sit down. Thanks. I'll get you a glass of wine. Yeah, I, I watch your show. Is that the one you just got fired from? We here to help. <coughs> oh, look, here you go. One red wine. Thank you. <sighs> oh, have I interrupted something? Um, have you got someone coming over? Yeah, after eight. Oh, look, Sorry, I could just go, you know, I mean, I could come back in the morning or um, something. I could come look, back tomorrow. No, 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 sit down. Tell me the whole story. Oh, well... Oh. It all started after this morning's taping. This morning's taping? Yeah, which just finished this afternoon. You weren't improvising again, were you? No. Well... Just a little bit, Jess, but you know, the scripts are so entrapmenty and, and the show is called Here to Help, you know, and that's what I want to do, I want to help, but whenever I do, people always start looking so uncomfortable. It's probably those tops you wear. Anyway, then, the producer took me aside and he started whispering, you know, but it was that kind of whispering that, that everyone can hear, and then they said they were going to have to let me go. <laughs> and when I asked for a reference, he gave me... through job loss. I just don't know how to deal with rejection, you know? Rejection? Been through it. Trying to get back on my feet again after Paula leaving. Missing the semis because of my toe injury. Trouble with women. My sister having a car stolen. People dying. Who died? Well, no one in particular. At least no one I know myself. 
except, you know, just what you see on TV and stuff, it really affects you. Jess, did you know that I'm nearly 25? So? 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 Oh. I don't want to be a, a has-been or a, or a could-have-been or, or any sort of been. Time just seems to be slipping away for me. I know. You know what, I've, I've tried so hard with, with my acting and my modelling and that stupid radio thing. Rebecca, you co-hosted a top-rating nationwide breakfast show. Yeah, and look where that got me. Nowhere. Um, <laughs> come on. I think you did pretty well out of it. I think the radio station did pretty well out of it. Rebecca, you got a new car. I needed a new car. Yeah, a Peugeot. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, so? Rebecca, you bought a Peugeot. My sister's stolen car was a Peugeot. It had a CD player in it and everything. Bastards <laughs> took the lock. I know Rebecca. how that feels. Yeah, if you... If you really want this lifestyle, you're going to be uh, have to be a little bit more practical with your money, all right? Yeah, I am a pre... Where does the money go? <coughs> I thought I told thing? you it's a touchy subject. <laughs> it fell through, okay? Anyway, I've got a few ideas about it myself, actually, a few notions of my own, you know? Mm -hmm. right. But how am I going to pay my bills? You know, I've got rent, car payments. Well, you can always get a job at the bank. This is my career, Jess. Well, we would give you some regular money. But I need flexibility, you know? I've got dancing and modelling. <laughs> Look, I know it hurts being fired, all right? But you need the cash. No, nah, don't, mate. It's only $14 an hour. It's OK for you, Jess, OK? You're happy just coasting along, day to day, dollar to dollar. A little girl waits. But I'm different. Is that so bad? Is that so bad that, that I want to reach for the stars? Hey, maybe you could write to your show for help. Are you on drugs? Right, uh, OK. Well, how much are they paying you at this place? <laughs> what are you, my guidance counsellor? No, you, sh you should do ads, like me. Yeah. Listen, the whole show was an ad, OK? We were sponsored by an artificial limb company. No, you need to move up from there. Yeah, should I be writing this down? All right, you guys, you want to take it outside? Don't knock it till you hear the full story, mate. Now, listen, picture this. One of those really beautiful suites at the Stepford Plaza. Stepford? Yeah, full crew there and everything. Lighting, oh, yeah? honestly, mate, looked amazing. Really? Oh, no. Can you get that? Go on. Blue partner French TV commercial. It's going to be shown. Really? How'd you get that? Yeah, um, I can you just wait a minute? I can't get the door open. Oh, we were here in a moment. Jessica, my darling. Oh, Lawrence, what a wonderful surprise. Oh, really? Anyone think after all that carry on? You didn't want me to come in. Oh, you should never feel like that. My home is your home. I see we're having a little party. No, no, I'm having a quiet night in by myself, actually. Lovely. Jessica, let me introduce my friend William. How do you do, Jess? Hi. Lawrence told me so much about you. Oh, has he really? Yes, he says he's taught you everything you know, in a sense. She has all the talents to me, and she still can't get published. Never mind, that's life. Um, William, why don't you um, go to the fridge and get yourself a drink? I'm sure there's a cordial in there. Mm, I'm sorry to budge in on you like this, Jess. The, uh, we had a little soiree to no, go to at Nathan's, but the whole area was sealed off by the ah, police. Uh, a murder, there, apparently. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, have you got through it yet? Got through what? My draft. I gave it to you a fortnight ago. Your book thing. Uh, I'm sorry, my dear. I haven't had time, but I did pass it on to William. Hey, um, what? did either of you want a drink? Uh, am I missing something here? Did you say you gave it to him? Yes. Oh, yes, your book. Lawrence gave it to me, Jess. I'd love to talk to you about it at some stage. Oh, I see. <laughs> with my little eye, I spy something beginning with wine. Is it gone? I'll get you a glass. Thank you. Hi, guys. Welcome. Hi, hi. Hi, Rebecca, my love. Hi. How are you? Oh, great. Mm. Mwah, mwah. Lawrence, um, <clears throat> this is Rob Telford. Uh, yes, the footballer. <laughs> I've seen you about the place. I uh, don't think you have. <laughs> it's a firm grip you've got there. Oh, come now. That's what all the boys say. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, Rob, this is my friend William. Oh, He's William. studying to become a writer. Hi, pleased to meet you. Following in your footsteps, is he? Yes, I'm a big fan of all Lawrence's novels. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, what's your favourite? I think it would have to be The Potato King. Mm. Mm, not one of my best, however. That's definitely underrated. My boy, I think you're underrated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're a writer as well, then? <laughs> uh, 
Are you mean to? Lawrence Hillman? <laughs> oh, you, of course. Uh, yeah, he's a pretty well, influential author, but he's my writing tutor. Well. Mm, influential. It's getting to the point where even Jesus Christ is after my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lawrence. Jess gave me one of your books for Christmas oh, last year. Oh, lovely. I think you'll find it's the kind of gift that keeps on giving. Oh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it was called The Earth People? My first exploration of New Age theme. Oh, that's why I liked it so much. I'm really into numerology. Are you really? <laughs> That's splendid. I write too, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking of getting a dictionary oh. to help with the words and stuff. Goodness, that sounds like an idea. Did you know that they're thinking of taking the word gullible out of the Oxford Dictionary? No. Why is that? I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, what kind of writing do you do? Verse, perhaps, or uh, haiku, maybe? No, no, I keep a journal. Yes, journals. Now, they can be incredibly interesting. In fact, I th <coughs> I'm thinking of using that format for my latest book. Oh, you're writing a new book? Yes, yes, I've been away too long, far too long. But I've been tossing some ideas around for quite some time now, and I think I've come up with the ideal comeback volume. It's a teenage football jocks, confrontational treatise, and discovery of hormonal awakening in the changing rooms of the world. Mm. What's it called? Diary of a faggot. Jess, I might just use your toilet. The bathroom. I need to use the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'd put the tackle among the pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping the journal too, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. How interesting. Mm. It's basically the journey of a young broadcaster, you know. I think it'll be really inspirational for kids just starting out. Oh, and heavens knows we need to keep the youth inspired. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. You know, I think it'll be a real eye-opener. While I was working for WOW FM, you know, I couldn't be as, well, open as I would have liked. <laughs> oh, so it's full of salacious detail. Oh, well, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> Conflict, drama, the stuff that creams mm. Well, there was of. this one time when we were at a meet and greet for the listeners mm. and I fell off the stage, you remember? <laughs> And then, well, it was really funny because I said, <laughs> my legs. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yes, apart from that. Well, I'm not sure how far to take it, to be honest. Well, you should always be honest, that's certainly true. And to hell with the consequences. I've just got this natural defensive mechanism, you know. It sounds to me, Rebecca, as if you need to let your guard down and perhaps work with a ghostwriter. Oh, really? Absolutely. I mean, the more personal and intimate the detail, the easier it can become when filtered through an outside source. Oh, sounds like a great idea. <laughs> now, I'm not promising anything, but I do have a number of techniques which I use to help young writers open up. You? <laughs> yes, I'd love to help. We could lick it into shape quicker than a Sunday morning tug. First things first, I think we should begin with a naked session. <laughs> a what? A naked session. We shed our clothes in an intimate setting and let our inhibitions flow forth like nubile tadpoles <laughs> from the brook of fertility. Excuse me. Oh, um, we should let you get ready. You've got your date coming. Date? What date? <laughs> Nothing, it's nobody. Oh, goodness gracious, what's going on over here? She's got a hot date coming. Oh, really? Who's the lucky man? Sean, from work. Ah, oh, from that insurance place. Thank. I'll just let you go, Jess. Oh, we're not all taking off now, are we? I mean, when's this lad coming? After eight. Between 7 and 7.30, oh, actually. Plenty of time, haven't you? No, we haven't. Yeah, can't we stay till he comes? No. On the contrary, it'd be lovely to meet this young spunk of yours. No, it's our first date, and I don't want you to be here when he gets here. Oh, look, uh, we'll you. leave as soon as he gets here, won't we, Rob? Mm. No, it'd be good to meet the bloke, make sure he's normal and all that. Yeah. No. Please. No, absolutely please. not. No. Please. Please. No. Please. Yes. Is this no. a letter from Real World Box? Oh! Put that back! Yes, it was, mate. Hello? Dear Miss Bartlett. 
Mom, can't you stay away from the phone for five minutes? He's decided to pass on it. What does that mean? No, he hasn't. It means they've rejected it. <sighs> no, he's due any minute, yes. Oh, bummer, mate. Oh, Look, that's... no, I haven't started getting ready. How can I start getting ready if I'm on the phone to you? I've had to come away from getting ready to talk to you on the phone to explain why I haven't bloody started getting ready yet, all right? Okay, 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 bye. Shame about the book, Jess, but you know, maybe if you worked on it full time. I'm going to my room to get ready now. The door's over there. Please do me the honour of not being here when I get back. Oh, sneaky, sneaky cheese, darling. Huh? It's not me, it's a is it? Yes, there was no need to be childish about it. Tried to do <laughs> the best thing by me. Obviously, she wanted more than that from from what I read. Yeah, I am. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> See that coming? <laughs> Was that the beginning of the end for her? Oh yeah. Career totally down the tubes. Addiction to pills. Sexual confusion. <laughs> so, where is she now? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Probably in some home for the bewildered. <laughs> <laughs> he was like a, a, a lovable little puppy dog. <laughs> he was like a little brother. <laughs> and to him, I was, you know, I don't know what he wanted. <laughs> anyway, he was smiling when they found him. Sorry, line. Oh, all the more reason, mate. I'm pretty sure the Pest Exterminator is a pivotal character in this episode. No. <laughs> Look, if I've only got one line and I mess that up, can you imagine what these guys are gonna think? I'm supposed to be a professional actor. <laughs> you write that on your tax return? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you can fit it all into the box. Oh, I, I just ticked the box that says theatrical entertainer. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'll stop it. <laughs> you wanted me to... Oh. Oh. oh man, you weren't joking, were you? I just forget it, mate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh look, um I just forget it alright. <laughs> off that week, you know, only the best for Bex. Right, okay, here's a look. Oh, um, yeah. This must have cost a fortune. Oh, the last time I redundancy from WOW, you know. <laughs> you didn't. Well, I did, but yeah, it's worth it. I mean, look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. It's so, you can't 
out with us on the show, surely. It's not that kind of show. Oh, well, no, but you know, the paparazzi, they always hang out at the studio car park, so <laughs> this is just for the car. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> um. <laughs> Jeez. I got you something. Um, oh. yeah. Oh, that's lovely. That's yeah. really lovely. You know, I thought you could use it for those those nights that you um you go out to the opera and stuff. You know. <laughs> Thank you. Also, Jess, I think we should maybe talk about our relationship. You know. What do you mean? I think it's time we took it to the next level. You know, being two females and we should come together. You know and. Beautiful. Lady. Taking time out. <laughs> Whoops. Is knocking a novelty concept in China? I'm from Napier, actually. Oh, I didn't know the cruising trawler made stops down there. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about your book. There's a couple of things I like to clear up about the characters and where you got them from. Look, you look like a really nice kid and everything but I didn't send my CV in. What do you mean? For the fag hag job, I'm not interested. Oh. I guess I'll just go back to the others. Yeah, and could you tell them I wasn't joking before about wanting them to get out? So how do you do it? I've been thinking about it the whole way over. Look, I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps in the notebook that you stuff down the side of the couch. A little notebook that you write in, you know, every time something pricked your interest. <laughs> no. Hmm, you sure about that? Seems a lot to remember. Could you just go? Okay. I guess I could probably do it with another drink or something. <laughs> Rebecca fell off the stage at the Well FM Christmas <laughs> function. I've never laughed so hard before in my life. And Ron is as thick as a plank. If it word out of his mouth, is worthy of psychoanalysis. Would you like me to continue? You shouldn't leave things like that laying around, Jess. Not very professional. Say one word and I'll... So, are you going to tell me what this is all about then? I am not going to tell you anything. I don't even know you. Fine. Hey, do you know what the loudest noise in the world is? No, 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 no. All right, all right. What do you want to know? I want to know why. Why what? Why you're friends with these people. You're not just using them to write a book, are you? Huh. Are you? Because there's a word for people that do that. Look, i finished with that book now and I'm onto something new that wasn't working out. <laughs> no, you're not. You're loving this. You thrive on all this negative energy. Don't you I'm starting on something new? You're playing with real people's lives here. Oh, it? for God's sake, hell is other people? <sighs> you don't know what you're doing and I'm not going to let you get away with it. My goodness, what have I been missing? <laughs> Nothing. We were just getting acquainted. Charming. My boy, would you go down to the car and fetch my cell phone? I'm expecting a text from Nathan. Yeah, sure. Such a lovely boy, isn't he, dear? My God, Lawrence. Any younger and be handing him his first communion. <laughs> Well, you know what they say. If there's hair on the wicket, you can play cricket. I'm going to check on the chicken. The other chicken. <laughs> How do 
do you know? How do you know, Mr. Oh, Jess. What? I can't seem to turn your handle. Pull up hard and turn anti-clockwise. Dark moons and funny shirts. What the? Um, can you give me a hand with that door? <laughs> oh, what's wrong with it? Just to get a little man to take care of this <sighs> Seriously, Lawrence, does that kid genuinely have talent or are you just. Oh, Jessica, what kind of boy do you think I am? What kind of boy who's never had any use for a vacuum cleaner. Jessica, I, I invited William over here tonight because I, I, I thought it would help you. Help me? How? Well, you're both aspiring young writers, and I, I thought it would inspire a new sense of camaraderie or something. Um, excuse me. What? We still can't get it open. <laughs> Didn't any of you listen? I said pull up hard and turn anti-clockwise. Excuse me. You slidey ones, you know? You slide it. Oh, come on, look, give me a go. <laughs> You've already had a go. Nothing mm. yeah. with this Who are you calling? The police. The police? <laughs> Why are you calling the police? Because that's who you call when you're in trouble. You call the fucking police. Oh. <laughs> oh, the phone's dead. Oh. Rob, give me your phone. Bix, have you got your phone? Uh, give me your phone, Rob. No, I think I left it at the studio. You know, I was really upset after everything that happened. Oh, what <laughs> oh, I got fired today. Are you guys for real? Give me your phone. Oh, yeah, oh, now. Oh, I'm just still a big boy. I loved it. I've been a you. fan base. Lawrence, I think you can talk to someone. Keypad. Unlock the keypad. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's broken. Rob. Oh, there's yeah. such bothersome things. Like. Unlock the keypad, please, Rob. Yeah. Uh, look, you better leave it. I'll get it fixed on Monday. How about I fix it? Hey, I think Woman's Day will be quite happy. Aww, don't. Through. I was on a film set yesterday for three hours under hot <laughs> lights. It really takes it out of you. Right. There's no other alternative. I'm going to lock you all in the bathroom. Jesus. Come on! What? <laughs> get up! Before I have to get the cattle prod out. Oh. Move it! Now you're all gonna stay in here and I'm gonna finish getting dinner ready. Oh god. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> well it's a power cut, obviously. Yeah, you need to turn on the lights. <laughs> Oh, holy Jewish. Jessica! Oh my god, is she okay? Who's touching me? Who is fucking touching me? <laughs> Sorry, it's me. <laughs> oh. This? This? Can we come down there? Because it's, um, <laughs> it's dark here. Tonight's been a real mere for you, hasn't it? Just one thing after the other. Well, it's all part of life's rich melange. Mm. We used to love melanges, huh? With fresh cream. Mmm. Finger licking good. I was referring to the situation, actually. Oh. It's situations like this are the, the stuff of great literature. Hey, maybe this would be good for your little book, eh? What we need now is a revelation. Mm. Sean's not coming. Oh, that could do it. Wait a minute. Um, yeah, he, he's not coming. <gasps> Why isn't he coming? Um, because I... Uh, he stood you up, didn't he? 
Yes. No, oh, they're all the same. They're all the bloody same, Excuse aren't they? Excuse me, we are not all the same. You think you were not listening? <laughs> I had a bad feeling about this one, Jess. I just knew something was going to happen to ruin everything for you. Oh. That was him that called before while you were getting ready, wasn't it? And you were too embarrassed to say. Mm, I could tell something was up with that phone call, Jess. Because I know you, you know? And it's not like you to get so aggressive, is it? Yeah, eh? mate. <laughs> I thought you were going to blow your load. Top. I mean, blow your top. And after all the trouble you went to with dinner and, well, everything really. Still, we're here to help. We're here to help. <laughs> Can it? <laughs> I've got it. What, Lawrence? Do you know what I always like to do on dark evenings like this? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Where did you get that? From the corner over there. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Jessica? Don't ever touch the Cluedo! Hey, I think somebody needs a hug. Maybe not. I'm sorry, Jessica. I just thought we could all pass the time until the power came back on and then we could figure out what to do about the door. Yeah, take your mind off it a bit, eh? Come on, you never have time for fun anymore. You could be Miss Scarlet. I no. wanted to be Miss Scarlet. I said no. Right, it's all right. Afraid they'll discover another one of your little secrets in that box? Piss off. I read all about Sean in here, but how come you didn't tell them why he really isn't coming? I hope you're not trying to threaten me. Hmm, not at all. But I just don't understand why you don't want to play the game. I mean, don't you find games very revealing? Either that or I could be very revealing. Jessica? There's another one in the kitchen cupboard. Yes! But I'm not going to play. I'm just going to watch. You can't just watch. Such an exciting game. Yeah, how do you play? Is it like snakes and ladders? Oh dear boy, it's all about finding out who done it. Who done what? <laughs> Jess, aren't you going to play? <laughs> no. Don't forget, I know all about Lawrence as well. Absolutely everything. Actually, yes. <laughs> Can we stop there a second? What? Jess, can't you see how contrived this is? It, it, it's obvious what's going to happen next. Contrived? Oh, what do you mean contrived? Come on. The storm rages outside, power goes off, phone goes out, people get locked in, start playing board game. And what's so original about your murder idea? Nothing, really. It's just that the least you could do is give people something to keep them interested through all these... Highly improbable machinations. I suppose you want me to add more sex as well. Mm. Why not? A little flash of tit or the occasional glimpse of bush always comes in handy. Or a penis or two. Mm. <laughs> Maybe in moderation. But listen, you, you've worked everything up to this point. It's obvious now that something's going to happen. Well, of course it's obvious something's going to happen. You told me something needs to happen. Mm. But this isn't what I meant. No, 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 listen. Of course something's going to happen. But it's the where and how that makes it interesting. Just wake me when the murder's getting close. No, seriously. Carry on. So they start playing the game. <laughs> Always thought these were a dodgy looking bunch. <laughs> they all look like murderers to me. <laughs> It's kind of freaky. You really think so? I always thought they had a kind of 1940s old world charm about them. <laughs> yes, well, some of us weren't even alive back then, were we, William? Oh. With catty remarks like that, is it any wonder you get stood up? <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence! <clears throat> He's got a point, though. What's that supposed to mean? Well, we all know you're a little fussy with the guys you like to date.
Oh, really? You'll go. How would you sum up Jess's relationships with men? Well, I think she's some. Um... Come on, don't be shy. <clears throat> yeah, don't be shy, Rob. Well, I think she's got uh, committing issues. <laughs> really? How so? Well, none of her boyfriends seem to be around for very long. The ones that are around at all, that is. <laughs> and why would you say that is? Do you want me to be honest? Absolutely. Well, I don't really think she knows how to hold on to a bloke. Yeah, I don't think she listens to them. I don't think she understands guys. And in fact, I don't know if she's that interested in guys at all, actually. <coughs> and how would you say you fit into all of this? Well, when we first met, I could tell she was into me. You remember? You know? Yeah. I just knew. It was just so close to Paula leaving and everything, I just... Uh, Paula is... My girlfriend. Or was. We were together for quite a while. Must have been months. So you really feel that if it wasn't for these terribly trying personal circumstances, you could have made a real go of things with Jess. Oh, totally. <laughs> totally. Mm. Oh, you know I love you. As a friend. As a mate. Mm. Rebecca. Yes. <laughs> I just want to say that uh, as a young person interested in the media, I really admire your work. Oh, thank you, William. That's really nice of you to say. What's your secret, you know, for success? <clears throat> well, um, I'd have to say it's having really good friends. Yeah, Jess has always been there for me when I've needed somebody. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> Thank you. You know. You know, I remember back in school when it was just you and me, you know? Bex and Jess against the world. And it was great, you know. I just wonder what went wrong for you. I mean, back then, we didn't need approval, you know? We didn't need to be the coolies. We didn't need friends, you know? Somewhere along the line, you lost your spark, didn't you? Hey? Gzz, gzz. I mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean or anything, it's just that, oh, well, you know, I mean, with the kind of intensive training that I've had and stuff. You've had training? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I don't really like to talk about it very much, but I, I did do an intensive weekend about four years ago. Yeah, it was run by my high school, um, Teacher, it was um, yeah, it was it was pretty good actually. Yeah, she said that um, as soon as I walked in the door, that you know she really she noticed me really shine out. You know, um, she said that those exact words. But you remember that, eh, Jess? You were on that course too. Remember? Really? Yeah. How did she do? Well, um, ah, uh, she um, <laughs> she didn't exactly shine through. But it wasn't through lack of trying, was it, Jess? No. Jess tries really hard. Really hard. <laughs> You've got to learn when to take risks. Not shut yourself up in some little room. Huh? You know? <laughs> That's the conclusion that I've come to with everything, you know? My radio, my television. Not everything goes according to your little plan, you know? But you just got to jump back on that bike. 
When life throws you lemons, make meringues. You know? <laughs> Always say that on the show. Also, you've got to remember that a lot of people are a lot more worse off than yourself. I've really learnt that tonight. Anyway, <clears throat> oh, looks like it's my turn, eh? <laughs> Rightio. Oh, here I am. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Miss Scarlet, uh, in the lounge with the dagger. <laughs> Anyone? Oh dear. Uh, oh dear, dear. <laughs> um, uh, you know, it's just little me. <laughs> I'm your best friend, aren't I? I'm the best friend. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> oh, thank God. You know I worry. <laughs> Here I am, just trying to help. Just being great little me. Trying to help my mate T say. <laughs> Sometimes I worry for no reason at all. <laughs> Cheers, everybody, eh? <laughs> Fuck you. First met? Yeah. Yeah, at my cousin's wedding in Queenstown. You told me all about how um, sad it had been for you since Paula left and how many sponsors you had at the football club. Yeah, well, I thought I thought you needed to. Um, Some to... moral support. I really felt that when you were um, programming your number into my phone. Just thought you might want to call me sometime. I didn't get a chance to. You were at my house the next week. Oh, and you want to talk about commitment issues. Why don't you tell everybody about Paula all over again? Yeah, um, things didn't work out with us. No, they didn't. Why do you think that was? Like, do you think it was because she went off to find a real man or something? Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> what about the way you act around people like Lawrence? I mean, that is so funny. <laughs> You're too scared to move in case you get taken up the ass. Yet you spend more time in my bathroom trying out the makeup than I ever would. That is so not true. <laughs> Who bought you concealer for your birthday? Okay, Jess, I thought that was between us. There's nothing between us right now except for oxygen. Oh, and $58,000. Oh. <laughs> what are you going to spend it on? What are you going to buy with the money? What are you going to do with it? <laughs> Next! Okay, it's it, time to put the gun back in the box, Jess. Are you kidding? I'm just getting started. <laughs> Hello, advice lady. I'm supposed to up next, am I? I suppose you've lined me up to shoot me down like all the others. Well, I just can't take it. Shoot <laughs> up! <laughs> Look, you got snake
shaky with Rob, but... But I'm not gonna be treated like that, okay? I'm not fucking around. I'm not fucking around. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You got fired from your job. It's not as if you lost both of your legs or something. We give really good advice on the panel, you know? That guy was nothing but a couple of stumps and a, and a box of tissues before we gave him advice on residual limb socks. Are you serious? Why don't you give advice on how not to lose your job at a radio station? <laughs> that really hurt. <laughs> I'm just seeing the side of you. I didn't even know I existed. Jeez. Oh my god, I'm seeing real tears on Rebecca. Can you believe it? <laughs> I'm really enjoying it though. <laughs> Please can you just leave me alone? Nah. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> please, please stop. This is enough now, Jess. You started all this. You want to see destruction? I can take this night down and I don't need your help, okay? How about I do it? You. Yes. There are a few <laughs> things you want to say to me, aren't there? Why don't you get them out? Because you won't care. No, I probably won't. And that's what gets you. You really enjoyed hurting those two. You're an evil little bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the wisdom of Lawrence Hillman, everyone. Tune in quick. Oh, is that the best you can do? No, but I don't know where to start with you. Do I start with your um, diary of a faggot? Or your naked sessions? Or how about the fact that every creative idea you've had since your first book has been flushed down the bog wrapped in tissues. <laughs> you forget, my dear. I've been doing this for a lot longer than you have, and nothing you can say will make a blind bit of difference to me. Is that what you said to my mother when she told you she was pregnant? You are not my daughter. Keep going. No, that won't work either. Go on, I said, keep going. Jessica, if I'd known you were my daughter when we had that naked session, we would not have had You had a naked session with Lawrence Hillman? That is totally fucked! Well, it's further than you'll ever get with us. Shut up! Can't you fight us all the same, you're all dodgy! Oh, not of a bless. Oh, can't you put that thing down? out, mate. Yeah. Do you remember? We were just playing Cluedo, Jess. You passed out. You know, it must have been the heat or something. Mm. We, we were saying kind of nasty things to you and then the next thing you were, you were spreading on the table. It's kind of like these new pills that I'm taking actually. They have I've the same effect. I've seen the same thing happen out in the field. It happened to me once. Really embarrassing. I was going in for a tackle and I felt something go, you know, right up my ass. Oh, I had a gun and I, and I was threatening you all. Oh yeah, she's getting confused. No, Jessica, that's the game. Mm. You know, Mrs. Peacock with the revolver in the lounge? That's you! So that's what this envelope is. Do you want a little drinky, honey? Huh? Little drink? Huh? I've said really horrible things. Oh, <clears throat> no, honey, that was us. Look, yeah, I'm um, really look, sorry. I'm, I'm really, sorry about really the whole sorry. boyfriend thing. You know? I probably shouldn't have come over here tonight. I, you really know? I just the other feel day like maybe I've got I a special that, bond, that you, you know? And Maybe, you know, you know I did have pills, I could have and, got and through you know the night, but something was drawing me closer to you, well, closer you know, and closer, I, you know, like this kind of I, magnetism thing, thing, and I just, yeah, I, I just, mean just it. need I just, to kind of I, reach out arm, to you and... Ah! Oh my god! Listen! <clears throat> Look, I've got a bit of a confession to make. As you all know, I've been writing a book now for some time, for a very long time, and um... It's gonna be great too. 
Yeah, Jess, it's going to be really good, isn't it, Lawrence? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks. No, anyway, I um, what I'm trying to say is I've been using a little notebook. Um, it's, everyone does it. All writers do it. It's not just me. Could you just get to the point? Yes. <clears throat> I've been using you all for material. Jesus Christ! Um, I don't quite understand. Do you mean that you've been using us as material for characters? <laughs> well, at least you chose a decent subject this time. Yes. Yes, I have. Wow. I get to be in your book? You don't understand. It, um, it, it's not a good thing. It's, it's a very bad, very bad thing. Oh, well, that's typical, isn't it? She's got great material and she can't write away hey, out of a paper bag. shut up, all right? She's good. Hello in there. She's been using you, making fun of you, manipulating you. Don't you guys get it? <laughs> really? It's true. I've betrayed you as friends and as human beings, and I've betrayed myself. <sighs> yeah. There's no excuse for what I did. Um. You know, I just couldn't help myself. I just kept going and going and I didn't know where to stop. And yes, I did make fun of all of you. And I, I just kept writing and writing and writing. And, and until I didn't really know where to go anymore. And it's been upsetting me. And I, I just really needed some time to myself, you know, to, to work it out. Um, and so I invented the Sean date thing so that I could have time to come up with a new idea for a new book. <laughs> so, so I, you know, I mean, I met him at the insurance company, but I didn't really know him. And um, it, it, we talked and stuff, but I don't know. Anyway, I just love my home life and my work to be separate. I mean, you guys are my life, you know? Jess, your bedroom's on fire. Oh, holy roasted priest. Oh my god, oh, they just stop! What are we gonna do? Oh, 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 oh. Break that door down. Push it! Oh, what about this window? Oh, oh my god, the second floor, you silly bitch. There's no other way. We'll be overcome a smoke fumes if we don't get out. Who do you think you are, Vin Diesel? Well, this is no time to be a smart ass. I've had the training. I know exactly what to do. Great, were you a volunteer firefighter? No, I didn't add for the volunteer oh. firefighter. Hey, do you think that maybe someone should, you know, put out the fire? Listen, we didn't start the fire. This is not the time or place for heroics. Now, everybody, out of my way. There's no door open inward. Brilliant. <laughs> God, is he okay? I should have thought about this earlier. I could have worked my way through the lot of you in the frying pan. <laughs> You've got to turn the fire off! All right. Help! 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 Hold yourself together. Go to the bathroom and get some wet towels, okay? The fire is go! <laughs> Just go to the bathroom and get some towels, okay? Now go! Go! Lawrence, what have you done? Get out! Get out! Oh. One last naked session, my boy. Help me turn them over. Oh. Oh. Come on, quick. Oh. Oh. Now, quick. Put his arms down before the circulation comes back. David, is that you? I knew it. Yeah, mate. We got the place to ourselves. Mm. Lawrence. Just like last week, eh? Shh. Mum's the word. Lawrence. Shut the door, man. Lovely. <coughs> I was just assisting his breathing. <clears throat> well, I guess you can all go now. <laughs> oh, sounds like an excellent idea. Come on, young man. Get you home to bed. Um, well, where am I, David? You're at the club, mate. We, uh, 
You had a few too many to drink, I think. Yeah. Better get you home to bed, eh? I'll call you in the morning, Rob. Oh, it's okay. Uh, David's gonna take me home tonight, Jesse. So. We'll make sure he takes you straight home. Okay. Don't worry, we will. Who's that, David? Oh, nobody, mate. Just another one of them flippin' fairies. We're not like them, are we, David? No, mate. Blokes. Okay, bye now. See you later. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye now. <clears throat> bye. Bye now. Um, <clears throat> Jess, I just wanted to, um, have a few words with you alone. <laughs> Um, I had a really good time tonight, you know. I really, really enjoy myself, actually. <laughs> Should do it again sometime. <laughs> um, also, I just wanted to tell you that... Well, you know that... You know that I love you. I know. Well, you finally got what you wanted. I want you to get the fuck out of my house. He's not here. He rang to say he wasn't coming. Oh, I know the phones have been out, Mum. Look, there's something I've got to tell you. Sorry, I hope you don't mind me uh, surprising you like this. Ah. Can I come in? Yes, yes. I mean, yes, please, come in. <laughs> Man, uh, what happened? Oh, there was a candle burning in the bedroom and it fell and cheap holders. You had a fire? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all out now. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fantastic. Never <laughs> been better. So to what do I owe the pleasure? Ah, <clears throat> well. I know you've been saying all week that you've been looking forward to your quiet night in on Friday, but I, uh, yeah. I thought you might want some company. Mm. I haven't come empty-handed, either. Oh, wow. Now, it's not exactly trout de la creme, but, uh, hey, presentation is everything, eh? Mm. You weren't expecting someone, were you, before all this? Oh, that, no, I, um, it, it's a writing scenario thing set up. Mm. 
Should I put some music on? Sure. <sighs> okay. <laughs> uh, looks like you had a little accident with your record. Uh, I've got plenty more. <laughs> uh, mm, do you like Frank's smile? Frank's smile? Yeah. I love Frank's smile. My <laughs> dad had lots of his stuff. Ah. Oh. Great. Oh, I was always a pretty big fan of Trumpet Trent in Munich. Ah, uh, Medley Mania 68. Beach Party Freakout. Kickstart the Humber Party. Hammond Hernia. Ah, Hammond Hernia. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you know, things like this never happened to me. I mean, if I'd have written in a, in a book about this, uh, people would have just said, you know, it's too far-fetched. <laughs> Those people wouldn't have any imagination. <laughs> no, I mean, I think given I'd be, you know, if someone had said on Monday I'd be having dinner with a handsome stranger, <laughs> <laughs> I would have checked their forehead. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that strange, am I? I wouldn't think so. <laughs> So, uh, what have you been doing today? Well, I, uh, <laughs> I got in early from work. You know, said I had a doctor's appointment or something. <laughs> um, got in, put on a record, and started work on my new book. Oh, yeah, your book. <laughs> have you done any more work on that since you gave me that drop? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> These people really wound you up, didn't they? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, once you, you sit down and, and start typing, you kind, of, you kind of lose focus on what that is, you know? <laughs> you hate them. No! I don't hate them. I mean, hating them would be hating myself. I could never hurt them. Cheers. Yeah? Is, um... Is Lawrence really your father? Yeah. Then the, um... The sex thing. <sighs> that never happened. Actually, I, I, I never met my father. What happened to him? He, he died. Sorry. It's, a, it's okay. Don't be sorry. He never had any um, time for women. He, he really liked the young boys, you know, really lots. Lots and lots of young boys. And, you know, AIDS. They all get it eventually. I wonder if any of those guys he boned thought of him as a father figure. Or maybe he was just making up for something that was missing in their lives. I wonder if things would be different for me if I'd have been born with a penis. Didn't know what you were letting yourself in for when you started reading, did you? <laughs> You're not gonna put me in the book, eh? Right? <laughs> Good. <laughs> do you realize that everything we do, everything we think, every single action we perform as human beings is entirely connected <laughs> to sex. Sean? Sean? 
I don't understand why he disappears. He was the first person in a long time that seemed truly real to me. The others? I don't know. Memories. <laughs> like water running down the drain. Each time I turn back the clock, I just get further away from it. But maybe I'm better off like this. Maybe I'm only happy when I can be in control. In my own little cartoon world. Where, no matter what happens, everyone's back the next day. And you don't have to think about how it all fits together. That's how it ends. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? <sighs> what? I, I don't understand why he disappears, though. Because he doesn't exist. What do you mean? He doesn't exist. He's the perfect man, the impossible dream. Do I have to spell it out? Well, yeah, probably. I thought I made it explicitly clear. Well, I'd switched off by that point. So you didn't find anything remotely entertaining about it then? <clears throat> no. I, I, I quite like the main character, but she just pissed me off when she started raking her mates. So didn't like that. They lost me there. Too dark. Uh. Anything else? Um. Yeah, yeah. That 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 thing with the father. I mean, uh, what are you trying to do there? You're just trying to gross people out, aren't you? Either that, or it's Star Sex Machina again. You don't know what to do, so you insert some random twist in the final few pages. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> if something big is going to happen, you have to at least give people some warning. Not what I'd have done, but still. <laughs> so why did you kill him? Because you're more important. Really? Yes, of course, all of you are. You know, my dear, this writing thing may just work out for you yet. Miss Bartlett, <laughs> with a revolver in the lounge. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. I just wish I'd have had the guts to do that, you know, just once in my life. <laughs> then maybe I wouldn't be such a would have been. Oh, Rebecca, no one's a failure here. If we lose it the first time, we just start again. Mm. Just like that. Yeah, we've got all the time in the world. <laughs> well, shall we play again? Yes, let's. Okay, let's sit up. I'm going to win this time. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is the happiest I've ever seen you. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I don't like to blow my own bugle, but I can be a bit of a bitch when I get stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's what he thought. Wasn't he great? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, he said the story needed a murder and... He was right! <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> I think it was meaning in your story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he probably was. <laughs> yeah, so if this isn't your story... <laughs> <laughs> then I just killed a real person! <laughs> <laughs>